Well, let's stick with the political and Brexit theme for a moment longer here on BBC Sussex Drive at Five because people who don't like the Prime Minister's plan for leaving the European Union have had plenty to say about it. It's a fudge. It's an appeasement. The botch deal is a bad deal. Parliament doesn't want it. The people don't want it. We need a better deal. But none of those politicians went as far as to call the deal's supporters enemies of the state or traitors. Well, a leaflet sent to houses in Chichester does go that far. It's plastered with the UKIP logo, but that political party denies having anything to do with it. Our political reporter Ben Weiss joins me in the studio. Ben, just what's going on here? Well, it's a very good question, Mike. This leaflet has been distributed to houses across Chichester. This story first broken by the, the newspaper the Chichester Observer, and it is plastered with the UKIP logo. The National Party says nothing to do with them. I've spoken to local figures in, in, in the West Sussex UKIP party, uh, and they've said this is complete nonsense. It's nothing to do with them either. If it was, if it was to do with us, we'd have put our addresses at the bottom of it so people could get in touch. We'd have perhaps used a more up to date logo. It's using the old UKIP logo, but the letter is very threatening. It's, uh, it's, it's saying, you know, we're watching you. You're enemies of the state if you back this deal, as well as going into lots of reasons why they don't like the deal in particular. Um, but the point is it's it's very threatening we don't know who's written it i asked sussex police uh, because some people on twitter have been speculating that that this may be airing just the wrong side of the law sussex police say they're not actively investigating it because nobody's reported it to them well, earlier Ben spoke to Chichester's MP, who happens to be Gillian Keegan, a Tory MP who does support the Prime Minister's duel. Well, I think when you're, you know, kind of trying your best to deliver on what the British people voted for in the referendum and, you know, you're spending long hours in Parliament and you're trying to compromise and you're listening to businesses, you're listening to constituents, and then somebody says, you know, that uh, you're a traitor, it's not very nice and it's very divisive. And I think, you know, it, it, of course it's hurtful. And I've had people in meetings, you know, say this you know shout the same at me you know but actually shouting at you yes absolutely yes the you know it's very it's few and far between but there are some people who have gone um almost fanatical actually on either side of the debate and you know they they are calling people traitors if they vote for anything that is any kind of compromise at all so you've, you've indicated what that does to the debate what does it do to you as a politician someone who's got to work in this debate um, well, it doesn't intimidate me, which I think is probably the um, the, the intent, uh, quite the opposite. Um, but, it, it, you know, it does make it unpleasant and it is unsettling. You know, it, it, you, look, you, you look at Twitter and you look at a lot of the comments that we're receiving on Facebook. And does it change the way you work as an MP? I mean, we hear of MPs in some places having to think about security arrangements at surgeries and things. I mean, have, have you had to make any adjustments well, after the um, the terrible incident of Joe Cox's murder, which was before I was an MP, they have increased the security requirements for MPs on the whole. So my home, I had to have security checked. Um, the office um, that we have in Chichester has had um, certain security um, provisions put in place. Now, if I have open meetings or surgeries, um, then I let Chichester police know, uh, just so they're aware that it's that it's happening, and they, they, you know, they look out for, um, you know, any any sort of activity in the area. I must say, we haven't had any issues in Chichester whatsoever. There have been people who who've been attacked outside Westminster. Last night, we had a group from Chichester who came to um, put on the Holocaust Opera push here in here in Chichester and we don't know what actually was the motivation but two of the members who came from Chichester had blue paint thrown over them outside parliament so it you know it's definitely getting the atmosphere is definitely getting more febrile and what's your message to whoever it was that put these leaflets together You've got to have respect for others' viewpoints. It's absolutely key. You know, in, in the referendum, um, you know, 17.4 uh, million people voted uh, to leave, but, you know, over 16 million people also voted to remain. And, and you know, myself, I voted to remain, but a lot of people in the constituency voted to leave. My parents and a lot of my friends voted to leave. And it's very important that you understand the others' viewpoint. It's very easy to understand and agree with yourself. The most difficult thing in life is to understand where someone else is coming from and try to accommodate that.